<laughs> oh, the kind of thing that, like Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy, or you can say, what's that? Timon from The Lion King. Remember Timon and Pumbaa? No, I, no, I've only seen uh, parts of The Lion King on my knees. Okay. Well, there used to be a show called Ren and Stimpy. They had a I remember that. that. Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy, I think, was the meerkat. Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah, okay, and Ren yeah. Was that you know, big red furry creature. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Yeah, the like dumb one. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he was the smart one. Oh. So they're probably pretty smart too if they're related to meerkats. Meerkats seem pretty. Yeah, smart that, I mean, that. since she's deaf, if she mm -hmm. goes outside and she smells another animal, right, her tail will puff up. You know, mm -hmm. it looks like something you scrub a baby's bottle with. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm like, put that hair down. <laughs> so she really has a sharp sense of smell. And yeah, but I mean, she can understand. Uh, I didn't. I called up and I called the pet store. Like I figured she wasn't listening because she was small, like young. Mm -hmm. And I said that they. I called up. I said I was there a couple months ago. You sold me a deaf ferret. And they go, well, we don't give refunds back. You know, you should have took her back. And I'm like, listen, I'm not calling. I took her because I wanted her, you know. And I, I bought her for her, you know. I, I said the only reason I'm calling is I want to know how do I communicate with her. And if, if you put, like, uh, a piece of red licorice on the, this chair, she can't see it. She won't be able to distinguish the color. No, she's got to smell it. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. She's a beauty. She really is. Yeah. I'm glad I got to her before they did. Mm -hmm. So, do parents ever, like, compete? Like, you know, the way cats and dogs do, like, in pet shows? No. Or... No. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know if they, they do. I haven't heard of it. I used to watch the Animal Planet all the time. Because <clears throat> I've seen cat shows, I've seen dog shows, but you know, ferrets oh, being so Oh, like your Canova dog shows, like them kind? Uh-huh, yeah, they compete for like blue ribbons, red ribbons. No, so I've never seen them. ferret ones. Well, you really have a lot of feelings for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, they come before me. I would go without any day before uh, they did. You know, I heard that ferrets are illegal in several states. Hey? Uh, they were illegal in uh, Massachusetts, so people were going to New Hampshire and buying them. Oh. And um, uh, the, a lady... Um, my ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. his friend's wife, Colette, she started a petition in, mm -hmm. uh, like about legalizing, legalize? getting oh. signatures to legalize ferrets in the United States, I mean in, the, in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. because she had 27 of them wow. at once. So like I got three and it's like, uh, it's all I can deal with, you know. Oh, That's one way you can get why you can get them like anywhere PJ's pets, uh, pet supplies plus. They, they sell them everywhere now, like a hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. So did, did you know why they were illegal? Because I think they're illegal in some states in the West Coast also, but I never knew why. I have no idea. Uh, Probably because uh, a woman had a breeding pair mm -hmm. and she bred them and she made on the side $330,000 off of breeding ferrets. She mm -hmm. interbred them and everything just for money. Oh, that was really interesting to know. Because I mean, I know they breed cats and dogs. You know the way hamsters, they swing around in that little wheel thing? Yeah. Like, do ferrets ever do that? No, no, mm -hmm. I won't let them do that. It's probably entertaining though, I mean, for Oh like, yeah, minutes. I mean, for what? For more minutes. <laughs> you, you, you gotta run, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, for exercise. It's fascinating. Maya, are you doing acrobats? <laughs> 
Oh, excuse Maya. <laughs> she's a bit restless too. I mean, she's the light. trying to compete with the attention that, you know, Bo, Moshe and Chloe have been getting. Watch. Tim seemed too happy. Well, this isn't her first show. She, she hosts the show with me all the time. <laughs> have your parents ever been out of the house before? Or this is also their first trip out? No, they love going out. When I take the the, um, the the cage and I put it near the door and I say, ferrets want to go out, you know, for a ride, <laughs> they just all jump in there at once. Nice. And, oh. and they get along beautifully. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. They love each other. Yeah. When it's like a, a pack of wolves mm -hmm. or a litter of kittens or when it's all ferrets together, it's called the business of ferrets. So do the other ones take care of Musha? Musha being, you know, the visually impaired one? Yeah, they, they like watch over her. They watch over if she sleep. They, they all do the same thing, like one sleep and one of the other ones. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you feisty little thing. Oh, they'll they'll like clean each other's ears, you know. Oh, they'll lick so each other, you know. And they they sleep with their paws on each other. And that's just like instinct. They, yeah, they, they all do that. They just, do it. they just they they like to pile on top of each other. The bottom ones getting squished. They don't even care. Tina, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Fierce, that's all the time we have this week for Pet Lovers Paradise. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back next time at the same place with another episode of Pet Lovers Paradise. Until then, this is your host Priya, along with Maya. Bye! Mm -hmm.